Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. It's Daryl here and today we're tackling double stops. Now this is kind of one of the secret weapons we have as guitarists to instantly add some grit and attitude and groove to our playing. For today's lesson, we're going to be using this incredible B&G Stepsister guitar. Uh, I did a full review on that a couple days ago. You can check it out by following the link above. From the B&G, we're going to go into my Line 6 Helix on a Marshall patch. So what exactly is a double stop? Well, it's simply playing two notes on your guitar at the same time. Now, the combinations are pretty much endless, so we're going to kind of boil it down into, you know, simple, digestible chunks uh, for people who maybe aren't used to using these yet. So let's dive in and look at some common ways to use double stops. All right, so let's check out example number one. So if you guys want a paper copy for these licks and stuff, um, I'll make them available on my Patreon. You can just head over, pause the video, print those off, and it uh, makes it a lot easier to learn. But like I said before, these double stops certainly add some grit and attitude. <laughs> So really useful and uh, you know if you watched the video last week on improvisation this will kind of bookend nice with that because you know these double stops just another tool that you can use to kind of break up um, your soloing and give some ideas on you know when you're improvising and it certainly sounds different than single notes so uh, let's break it down a little bit and check it out. So we're going to start with running the pentatonic scale A C D E G A C D. Okay, just straight down your pentatonic. Now here's where we start our double stops. Now I often play them barred, just like I did before. Uh, I'm just going to use two fingers now, just so it's easier to see for, you know, you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're just going to go up a tone and back, and then we'll hop up a string, up a tone back, hop up a string, up a tone back. So we're literally doing the same thing. So, you know, getting that in your muscle memory won't be too bad. But anyway, here we go. Okay, and then we go back and we do a little bend on this one. Really common in guitar music, and then we hit. So I'll do the whole thing really slow. And then we hop up to second string, third string. Okay. All right, so let's check out example number two. <laughs> All right, so we're not actually doing smoke on the water. Uh, it is like the ultimate prototypical stacked, you know, double stop riff though. Uh, so everybody should learn it. It's lots of fun, even after all these years. Uh, but we're going to focus more on the pentatonic side and giving you guys ideas that you can incorporate into your soloing um, and really your improvisation. So here we go. Let's do it. We're going to anchor on A. Uh, I'll play it for you guys, then we'll break it down. <laughs> All right, so let's zoom in, take a look. All right, so let's take a closer look. We're back on A minor pentatonic, and we are gonna be using this C and E for our double stops. This is second string, third string. Then we're gonna be using the D and the F sharp, just up a full tone. Then we're gonna be using D and G. And that really outlines just sort of a D sus chord. So basically sticking on second string, third string, and then in between hitting that root. So just that alone, you know, such a common movement in blues and rock. Then the second one. Now here I usually just 
You know, you can bar it or you can move your fingers up. Now, if you want to do some articulation like I do, which is kind of like some bending, maybe using two fingers will be a little bit, you know, doing that when you're barring is a little sloppy. So you could use that with two fingers. And you can actually bend it or just do light vibrato or kind of player's choice, right? This is all about improvisation and expression. So, you know, however you want to articulate that is great. And then, and here I'll use my pinky, but you can shift your hand up. Okay, so let's play through it slow. One more time. All right, so let's check out example number three. Now, when people hear you hit this bend, they're going to know you mean business. So we've all heard bends like that in everything from, you know, Metallica to Stevie Ray Vaughan. So let's uh, get a closer view and check out the lick. All right, so here's the lick. So I wanted to leave this one for example number three because, you know, really this lesson is for people who don't use, you know, double stops a lot. Um, and this is very, very tricky. So I usually use my pinky finger and then use the other three fingers to kind of help get that D bent up to an E. Now you can use stronger fingers for sure and then just transition over. Um, but basically, yeah, we start by bending that third string while keeping second string still, which is quite tricky. And then what we're going to do is a little pentatonic lick just from, you know, this little box between third string and fourth string. Then we jump up to that double stop we've used before, the C and the E, and then resolve it to the A, okay? That's the whole lick. So that's really all you need to know to kind of get started at least with double stops. Check them out on your pentatonic scales and if you've been working on the, the improvisation that we did last week, uh, try incorporating some of these into, you know, your regular improvisation. And it's the funny thing about improvisation is you need to practice a lot to be able to improvise. And I know it seems counterintuitive, uh, but that's the way it is, you know, um, training your ear, you know, and your hand where to go in a spontaneous way takes uh, a lot of repetition, just like anything else in the world. You know, we watch our sports heroes, you know, pull off something insanely creative and we realize they can only do that because they've practiced the fundamentals tens of thousands of times, right? It's like that in any area of life. So improvisation takes practice. Um, so start practicing these double stops um, and add them into the stuff we were doing last week and hopefully uh, it'll spark some creativity. Thanks so much for watching you guys. You can check out my full demo of this guitar by following the link above. And if you want to uh, support the channel on Patreon, get this lesson plus a ton of other lessons. They're all on there. Um, you can follow that link above if you want to uh, yeah, check out some lessons on Patreon. Have yourself a great week. We'll see you next time.